Hello students! In this video we're looking at syllabus topic 1.1 and specifically we're going to start with sequences. Just in general, what is a sequence? Well, a numerical sequence is a set of numbers that's defined by a rule for positive integers. So what we mean here for the positive integers is that each positive integer will follow a rule that gives us a specific number in our sequence. So these positive integers end up being our term numbers, which we're going to use with the variable n. So it's not saying that we have to only have positive integers to make a sequence. We could have positive, negative, rational, irrational. But our term numbers, the terms we're discussing, those are going to be positive integers. So in this sequence here, these have a specific rule. It looks like they're always going up by 2. And in this rule, I can say that my first term is 5. So I denote that with t sub 1. We use t for term number. Sometimes we use u. Sometimes we use a. You can really use any variable. So term 1 is 5. So the 1, 2, 3, that's what we mean here by positive integers. When we use an explicit formula, and in an explicit formula, we're going to use n to find the nth term. So in this case, our explicit formula looks like it's going to be um, 2n. So that would I think that's going to be 2n, sorry, plus 3. So if I plug in 1, I would get 5. If I plug in 2, I get 7. So this is my explicit formula. I'm using n to find the nth term. Set notation, I could say t sub n is the set of numbers 5, 7, 9, dot, dot, dot. Recursion, with recursion, I'm going to use a previous term to help me get the next term. So use previous. I could also graph out a sequence to show its values. So here I need some labels. Remember we said that it's defined for positive integers. So this must be 1. Here's 2. We know it starts with 5, so I must be counting by 1s on my t sub n axis. It's only positive integers. There is no 1 and a half term. Therefore, I have a set of dots that are not connected. I can also put this into my calculator. If I come into my calculator under mode, I have a sequence mode. So normally we're in function mode, but we can also be in sequence mode. Then if I go to y equals, I can start with my, if I'm starting with positive integers here, I'm going to start with the first term. Here my formula, I can put in a recursion formula using u n minus 1, or I can put in my explicit formula, so 2n. Notice here, when I this is normally my x key, but in sequence mode it gives me the n, so 2n plus 3. I don't need to give a minimum value because I've used an explicit formula. If instead I did my recursion formula, I would go into, I want to do now, um, my formula is previous term plus 2. So to get v, I'm going to do alpha calc to get my v. So that's a shortcut to my variables. And now I want the previous one. So that's v of n minus 1. I'll take that and I'll add 2. And now if I go into my, ooh, something's wrong. What happened there? Let's see here. The, oh, I needed, I have to have a minimum value. I have to tell it where it's starting. So we're starting at 5. And now I can go into my table. And hopefully I'm going to get my 5, 7, 9, 11. We need to start at 1. So let's take my table start to 1. Okay. 5, 7, 9, 11. Notice that I'm undefined for 0. So that's another way we can look at it. 
and go back into my y equals and drag that over too. So we can set it up in our calculator, we can make a graph, all these different things we can do for sequences.